malnutrition, first and foremost, but it can also go alongside diseases like tuberculosis and AIDS um, and malaria. And so this can be used to um, really get people the help they need for whichever of those diseases they have. Anemia affects over a billion people in the world and something that we just really wanted to help develop and see um, what we could do, especially as non-engineers, to be able to make such a large impact on such a pressing need. And it was just a great challenge, and we've been working on it for so long, and I'm excited to see the transformation this summer, too. Uh, we are so excited. We've had this in the laboratory uh, for a whole semester now, and we are just really eager to get it out into the field and see how it can be used and how it can potentially help people.